Take four. <laughs> Hello there, everybody. Yes, take four. Welcome into the JMK Gamer 1965 channel. I'm Joe. Welcome aboard here in this late afternoon on a Sunday. Happy Sunday to you. This is the uh, North American Baseball League, the NABL wrap up video. For year 1994, I have simulated to January 95. However, those are still the 1994 standings. Anyway, lots of news. I had a whole video going. No, October, October, October. Mexico City, there you go. That's the one I wanted. I had a whole video going this morning, and, um, excuse me. I had a whole video going this morning, and then we had to get into balloting for Pitcher of the Year and Batter. Uh, best batter and best pitcher and best this and best that and most valuable player and, and oh my goodness. And even though it was extremely fun for me, because it's my league, that kind of video I think was extremely boring to watch. So I'm like, nope. Anyway. As you saw, the LA Bolts defeated, were, were defeated by the Mexico City Bulls two to one in that last game. And Mexico City for the second straight year wins the series over the LA Bolts. I believe it was both times that they uh, had the same two teams. It was Mexico City's second championship, and I was correct. Uh, I said earlier on a video that didn't make the cut that Mexico City, I thought, was in the uh, NABL title series before, and they were. They were in the original, the 1965 NABL title series and lost. So they are now two and one in championship appearances. All right. Carlos Allegra. Allegria. Carlos, manager of the year in that league. And a lot of folks that were given a heave ho General Manager of Philadelphia dispatched. The Denver Gold Miners manager, bye bye. General Manager of Charlotte, adios. And then a whole bunch of trades and awards. Not going to get into every one of them. Now, where, uh, okay, yes, this is in my league history page. There you see the Cincinnati Mudcats beat those Mexico City Bulls in 1965. And then they made it again the last two years. Yeah, Mexico City and the LA Bolts, two times in a row. They are the two best teams. Now, here's a fun page, my evolution page. Yes. Designated hitter rule vote, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, 
no significant changes, blah, blah, blah. All series, uh, in 1971, all series went to best of seven games. Uh, no significant changes, blah, blah, blah. 1973, the NABL logo went from blue lettering to red lettering. A little easier on the eyes. A few things that it did, like uh, change the free agency minimum service time to increase to eight years. There are some things that I do, like the vote and uh, league expansion that they do. And in what was it? In 1981. I believe it was, San Antonio and Montreal came into the league. Maybe for the 1982 season, 81 or 82. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, but anywho, this is one that, uh, oh yes, a free agency and minimum time decreases to seven years. That was back in 94. That that's one that they did, they they being the the game, the AI, the game itself. And here's one that I did. The next time the NAB the next time the NABL expands, which I'm sure it will one day. It just randomly will do it when it sees a time that it can adjust the. Uh, schedules. The league will welcome two more teams into the league. They always, uh, they always go by twos. And it will be Baltimore and Calgary. I already know, I already know uh, what team the Baltimore team will be called. What name, I should say. The Baltimore Blasters. I had them in an earlier uh, league that I did, and very cool uh, shirts and and logo, etc. And Calgary, I will find a cool name for them uh, if and when expansion happens next. So, the Whalers. Cody Ross, our catcher. With that big smile, uh, he got released. His contract was up, and the general manager, I am not the general manager of a team, I'm just the manager, released him. And Pat Thomas is our new starting catcher, 25 years old, from Lindbrook, New York. He's a right-handed batter, University of Texas, first round draft pick in 91. Now, let us see how his injury numbers are, though. Da, 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 da. Not bad, but not great. This is where I cheat a little bit. A little bit. Overall prone, da, 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 39. Back prone, we're going to go 27. I don't know what these averages will really be, but leg prone, 32. And arm prone, uh, 35. So we'll we'll make that overall maybe twenty maybe thirty there close enough now he is durable which is what I think he was before catcher fifty five also he could be a first baseman catcher ability seventy five only a forty five arm. Uh, 
but we'll give them a try. All right, that seems to be the only player that we lost. Ricky Melendez, was he with us last year? Yes. Um, Pointer Matt Stevens, he's still with us, thank goodness. Sam Powell, yes. Danny Utska, Ray Osaki, Ryan Crosby, the third baseman, Mike Lemire, yes, 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 yes. Uh, we still have our starting pitcher, Avon Gomez. Elbow reconstruction surgery. And let's see how his numbers are. I'm going to redo those numbers. That should be a pretty well reconstructed arm there. Let's give you uh, 35. Back, we're going to go 19. Leg, we're going to go 31. And arm, still could be a bit tender. 38. I'll probably end up paying for that next time around. But now, just for giggles, calculator 35 plus 19. And I know that there are people who already have this in their head. No, wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. 38 plus 31 plus 19 equals divided by 3. 29.3, okay. That's good. That's pretty good. I'll take that. But he still has some time left on the um, injury list, as they call it now. And this nice fella, he's still going to be out for three months. So, let us go to the news page. And we have a new Hall of Famer. I think we just have one. Nope. We have two. From St. Paul, the St. Paul North Stars. I really like their uniforms, by the way. He was 171 and 97, a pitcher, 360 starts. Not quite 2,000 strikeouts. Very nice uh, career there. Retired at 37. And David Alunde, Alunde has retired at 41. Or he, he retired, what? I, I think it's five years, but they have to wait, so. And he was also a pitcher, 219 and 162. Struck out 2,362. Very nice lifetime ERA. 485 mound appearances. Yes. Held the opposing team to a 262 average. Very nicely done, sir. There you go. Well, we are on January 4th. Oh, another thing I did. This team here, the Oklahoma City Cannons, 
they were originally, I just looked, I, I didn't even notice it before. They, they were the Minneapolis Cannons single A team, and I realized that I have a St. Paul North Stars in the uh, NABL Major League division. So I, I, I decided to move that team to Oklahoma City. Kind of like playing God. You can do whatever you want. Yes, yes. There you go. So, front office. Our pitching coach decided to retire or move on. I, maybe his contract ran out. I, I didn't get to find out what. But Dustin Bailey was the pitching coach here in Lubbock. And I brought him up, and he's now the pitching coach in Boston. And I want to make sure that I did indeed. Yes, I'm still just the manager. Yes, yes, yes. But I have had so much fun over the years with the North American Baseball League uh, trying to think of the right word the simulated league it's a simulated league it's obviously not real some of these players have become a little bit real to me i mean i'm always going to have a, a soft spot for matt stevens 70 home runs in his inaugural campaign unheard of um just massive you know success and then some players don't make it at all this is why i love this game it's as real as it gets uh just sometimes the the computer voice it's it's too loud it's too much but anyway there you go oakland uh, i think got rid of their manager earlier uh, Charlotte dumped their manager 49 and 113. That probably is the worst record of any team that I've ever seen in, in any of my simulated seasons. I might have to go back and see if I can't find that out. I, I've got them in a, a folder. But uh, I'm not going to go back and check now. That is a very bad ball club right there, folks. This team here needs a lot of work. And am I going to change my job from take Blake Smythe over here. No, no. Blake Smythe, he is 72 years old now, I do believe, or he will be. And I'm going to have him manage the fictitious Blake Smythe. He will manage. Where is he now? Yep, he'll, he'll be 72. Uh, I'm going to have him manage until he's 75. Um, and then I think his contract will be out. And then I'll see. I, I, I tried turning it over to uh, another person. Blake had retired for one season, and it just wasn't the same. I, I, I couldn't get that same vibe. So I brought Blake back back and he's been managing ever since uh he took one year off what was it 80 86 he took the 1987 season off came back uh one year with denver or i should say a half a year or so and then 
got with uh, Boston, and it's been there ever since. So, oh yes, he, he's been with the, the Battle Wings of Kansas City, the Pittsburgh Pirates for, oh, 11 years, I think, there. And we started in Seattle and uh, St. Paul with him. Yes, yes. Folks, if you ever get this game, you can create your own league, your own teams, your own division names. You can have fun with this game. This is why I love this game. And it's always a little bit sad when it's the off season. But of course, I'm trying to get to the, <laughs> I'm trying to get to, to the 2024. It'll probably be, it'll probably be the 2025 season by the time I get there. Uh, I, I'm still slowly fast forward. And I know that that's not exactly uh, a term, slow fast forward. But I am slowly fast forwarding from 65 up until probably the 2025 season. So we've had 65, 75, 85. We've had 30, 31 years now of history in this league. Let me see what uh, let me see what we've got here now. Uh, logs. Injury major transactions, league history, retired players, playoff history, Hall of Fame. Oh, yes. Lots of information. No, 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 no. Wrong one. This is the one I want right here. Right here. Here are all the champions, 65 through 85. In blue are the, the winners. Cincinnati beat Mexico City in the inaugural season. New York had a mini run, two years. One, they uh, came in second. In 67, they won it all. Back when the Seattle Pilots were good. L-O-L. -L. Thought about changing the name of the Washington Federals and the Seattle Pilots. Mm. I just like that name, Washington Federals. And Seattle, I, I, just, I just like it. I, I don't know why I would change it. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think I should change those two names. One being an old USFL team, a United States Football League team from the 80s, and of course the Seattle Pilots, a real major league baseball team for a year or two. I think maybe only one year. Um, yeah, we have a lot more uh, let me see here. Uh, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen wins. It it, it looks like it might be about uh, halfsies. Maybe the uh, maybe maybe the Knox League has a slight advantage in the number of champions by one or two. But look here, the the Charlotte Swamp Foxes, three years running in the championship series. Another year here in '81 and '78. They were a hot team back in the day. With one, with with two championships, and they are now horrendous.
And that is just like real baseball. This is as real as it gets, folks. Anyway, that is the wrap-up show. A lot of my players stayed put. A few of them did not. Um, again, I was going to change names of two teams. I've decided not to move that one single-A team. Or, yeah, I moved it and renamed it. Moved it and or renamed it whatever you wish to, to say. Oh, uh, baseball cards for Pat Thomas. <clears throat> do, do, does our new um, pitcher have a, no, Felipe Gonzalez does not. So, yeah, there are a few people here who do not have cards. So there you go. We'll make new cards for everybody. And one player who I think did leave. What was the name of that player? Always had the frowny face. Uh, hold on now. Yes, I think he's gone. Schnitker is gone, actually, which is not good. But, um, yes, that one, uh, I think he was a right fielder and was always upset that he was not getting playing time, but his batting average was terrible. If you remember that name, leave it in the comment section below, please. The old brain is just not working tonight. But yeah, we have basically the same team. New catcher, um, New center fielder, I do believe. I don't think he was with the team last year. Maybe he was. Maybe he was a backup player. Nope. He was with Boston. Yep. Boston. Yes, us. I got confused. Yes, Boston. 92, 93, 94 at least. Yes, he's been with us. 129 games. Where was I? Oh, yes, that's right. I, I, I only played a few of these games. For me to actually play every single game and record every single game, not realistic. Not going to do that. But if you want to see more of this uh, series with the Boston Whalers, let me know. Uh, I, I will bring it back in... A month or so and um, yeah so there you go I'm trying to figure out what his name was here that just gets me let's see if I can figure it out Nope, that's all gone. Can't get back to 94 now. Hmm. Anyway. The name will come to me at 3 in the morning. I know it will. Sandy. Sandy Aguilar. Thank you, Lordy. Thank you, Lord. San Diego. That literally would have driven me nuts. It those are the kind of things that drive me chocolate bonbons. Yes. So there you go. 
I'll have to find him and let you know what team he showed up on or if he retired. So anyway, save. San Diego. Oh, boy. Anyway, that is the North American Baseball League wrap up show. Complete with a little bit of hilarity. <laughs> Tomorrow, some more videos for you. We're going to uh, give you, first let's let this close. Okay, there we go. So I can concentrate. When it gets late afternoon, early evening, oh, my brain just wants to shut down. Oh, yes. Yes, uh, we will bring you either some Euro Truck Simulator 2, some Battleship, and or some Train or X-Plane. I'll find a couple of videos for you. I'll make a few. And uh, we'll rock and roll and get ready for a uh, rather busy week. Uh, there will be a video or two, two videos, I think, tomorrow. One on Wednesday, and then I have a double work shift Thursday and Friday. Along with a meeting afterwards on Friday. But that's okay. I've done a, I've not, a, I've done it before. I can do it again, no problem. But um, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. You folks have a great evening. Let me know in the comment section down below what game you want me to do tomorrow. What, what two games? Let me know. So take care, and until tomorrow, I'll be seeing you.